Saw a man split his foot in two once. That's a feeling I can Don't swing to. that into your boot. I knew a man who cleaved his foot clean in half. Get it all out, Arthur. <clears throat> Thanks, Arthur. You okay, Arthur? You want to talk? Yes. What's been going on with you? I don't know. I... What? Been acting kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. How so? I've been killing a lot. I mean, innocent folk. I don't know why. Yeah, that's bad, Arthur. That's real bad. I know. I just... Well... You know me. Sure. I know you. But then you go act all crazy. You're up, but I've always been crazy. No, you haven't. Maybe Mike can put a spell on me. And maybe you're just being a fool. No, there's always that. Hey, Sadie. So you didn't get Cole Mo Driscoll? No. And I'm feeling better, by the way. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. If you say so. This camp could do with a few improvements. I'll keep my eye out for some good material. Good morning. You're a brave girl. That Braithwaite job was a lot of work for not enough money. I was just doing what Dutch asked us to. You got a brain of your own, don't you? Okay, well, let's talk more later. Uh-huh. Yeah. So up now. Trying to pawn crap off on us? I've had enough of this. Both of you get your hands up. Now! <laughs> Some people just got no sense of honor. Hey, you see that?
Got the nerve to put a bullet in me? Cause you better. Serves him right. Cock sucking dick. You might be interested in this. Well, ain't this a lovely little thing? Deal. Here you go. So long. You all right, girl? Mister? Wanna stay a bit? That's fine with me. Thanks. Been quiet up till now. Is that right? I usually keep to myself, but wouldn't mind company this time. Fine weather, ain't it? Been traveling so long, the world feels much smaller now. Always got time for a fellow traveler. It's okay, girl. Just a scratch. All right, then. Oh, well. Oh, well. Yep. Yeah. Oh, 
Okay, there. Hey. You're all right. Nice and easy. Again, I know. Listen, I know what this looks like, but uh, you got to help me out again. Now, come on, please. Again? Come on now. Just shoot the damn chains already. Come on. <laughs> yes. Relax. Oh again. yes, praise the Lord. <laughs> Thank you. I tell you, friend, I'm about more broke than last time, but. Well, I heard something you might like. Well, some drunk's been hoarding his money in this little place south of Rhodes down by the river. A lot of money and very drunk. At least that's what they say. Oh, I look like a thief or something? Or something, maybe. I, I don't know. It doesn't matter to me. I'd keep out of sight a while. Seems like you're a prime target. You said it, friend. Yep. This way. Come on. Yep, always a market for saddlers. Careful as you go, Clive. Come on, girl. You're okay, girl. Whoa. 
What the hell's wrong with you all? Our they said a word. Just feels like we ain't getting nowhere. It's the end of the century. It seems like we ain't much further on than we was in 65. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. We can still live free. We can still say we don't recognize you or answer to your laws. There to be one man living the truth and a million living a lie. Let me tell you something. Now, you all know that most of us old timers, we fought alongside each other. Third Lemoyne Regiment, the summer of 62. We was hunkered down by Copperhead Landing for weeks. It was a terrible time. It was terrible. Food was rotten. Humidity was unbearable. Nothing we had ever got dry. But we knew that sooner or later the enemy would be coming down the line of Hachi if they wanted to take San Denis. And sure enough, one morning, we woke to the distant sound, the boom of a cannon. Oh my God! Boy, I can't... No war stories for you, fellas. I reckon you had enough, Pa. Enough? All I had enough of is you. For weeks. Oh, well, you ain't a babe in the crib no more. You full grown now, boy. Stop pulling in your pieces. You don't gamble or piss it away. What the hell are you doing here? Get on out of here. Get on out, you hear me? You ain't too hospitable, are you? Who do you think you are? Get the hell out ah! uh, No! Please don't kill me. Take whatever you want. Just, just leave. Tell me where you keep the money, or I swear I'll kill you right there. The chimney. It's in the chimney. Just please don't hurt me. Oh! No! It was him or me. And I chose him. What am I gonna do now? He's all I had left. You Why? shut the hell up, or I'll make sure you join your daddy soon enough. Okay then, girl.